Hi everyone and welcome to your 30 minute intense Pilates workout. This routine will tone and sculpt your entire body and includes a nice warm up and a cool down at the end. So when you're ready, come into an upright seated position and then interlace the fingers, inhale deeply, bring your arms up and exhale, lean all the way to the right side, feeling a nice stretch through the left side of your body. And another deep exhale, going a little bit deeper. And inhale, come back to center. Exhale, lean all the way to the other side. One more deep inhale and exhale. And then come back to center. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, twist to the right side. Bring the right hand behind your back, left hand on your right knee. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, twist, look over your right shoulder. And now release the right hand, move it up and forward, grabbing the left knee. And round your spine, lean forward. Take one more deep breath here. And then release, reach both of your arms up. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, twist to the other side. Twisting from the belly button and look over your left shoulder. And now reach the left arm up and over, grab the right knee, round your spine and lean forwards. And then slowly come on up. And we will meet in a seated position with your legs slightly bent in front of you. Hold onto the back of your thighs. And now start to roll your head to one shoulder and all the way down, moving to the other shoulder. We're just releasing any tension in our neck here. And just move with your breath, finding your own rhythm. And then slowly come back to center, rounding through your spine. Engage your core, draw the navel in. And inhale, come back up. Exhale, round. Come into your C shape. And inhale, come up with a straight spine. One more time, exhale, round. And from here, bring your forearms on top of each other. And on your next inhale, tap the left knee to your forearm. And exhale, extend the leg. Inhale, tap the knee. Exhale, extend. We have eight here. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Move with your breath. And two more. Last one. Bring the left foot down and let's repeat on the other side. Think about drawing your navel in and up. Beautiful. Three more. And two. Last one. And then bring the right foot down, hold onto your four fingers and move the left elbow to the left side and the right to the right. Imagine rowing that boat, leaning back even further, engaging your core. And now pick up the pace, go a little bit faster. And three, two, one. And then release, inhale, reach your arms up, lengthen your spine, exhale, lean forward, feeling a nice stretch through your back. And then come back up, exhale, find your C curve and let's repeat this set one more time. Forearms on top of each other, inhale, knee to forearms, exhale, extend. We have eight of these in total. Keeping your shoulders relaxed. And three more, two, last one. Bring the left foot down, repeat on the other side.
and three, two, last one, bring the foot down and let's row the boat one more time. Twisting from your belly button, keep your feet grounded. And we have four more, three, two, one. And then come back to center, inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, lean forward. Take one deep breath here. And then come on up and roll yourself all the way down to the ground as slow as you can and release your head back walk your feet in a little bit bring your hands onto your hips and let's start with some abdominal preparations exhale move your hands to your knees inhale lower exhale lift your shoulder blades off the mat and inhale lower down Keep your chin slightly tucked in. And three more. Two. And on the last one, keep your shoulder blades off the mat. Release the arms forward and bring your legs into a tabletop position or extend them for an extra challenge. And let's start with our 100s. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. And keep going here. Lower your legs if you want to. Keep drawing your navel in. And think about pressing your lower back into the mat. Two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. And keep going, keep breathing. And we have the last ten. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. And now hug your knees into your chest, release your head back. Moving from right to left, if that feels good to you. And now release your hands and feet down to the mat. And now extend the left leg up and we will start with leg circles on the left side. Three big circles into one direction. And now switch direction of the circle. Your core is active and stabilizes the movement of the leg. And now keep your left leg lifted. Inhale to prepare. And exhale, lift your hips up. Inhale, lower down with control. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Driving all the way up through your right heel. And keep your left toes pointed. And we have three more, two, last one, keep your hips lifted and now exhale, flex the foot, lower the leg, inhale, point and lift, flex and lower, point and lift. Do not lower your hips down, push them up a little bit more. Only your left leg is moving here. Really good. And last one. Keep your leg lifted and add some pulses. Stay strong here and try to lift your hips higher with every single rep. Really nice. We have five, four, three, two, last one. Keep your hips lifted for one more deep breath. And then release your hips down. That was tough. 
Keep your left leg lifted, hold onto the back of your thigh or calf muscle. And now bring your shoulder blades off the mat and extend your right leg. Let's get ready for scissor kicks. Exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. You can also find your own rhythm here, moving with your breath. And think about keeping the core engaged, pressing the lower back into the mat. And now we have two more. Last one. And keep holding onto your right leg this time. Flex your right toes. Now let's repeat this set on the other side, starting with big leg circles into one direction. And now switch direction of the circle. Keep your shoulder blades on the mat, keep your face muscles relaxed and breathe deeply. Now point your right toes, inhale to prepare, exhale lift, inhale lower down and exhale lift. Try to lift your right toes up as high as you can. Imagine you want to touch something on the ceiling. I know it's not possible but just imagine. And now we have three more and two last one keep your hips lifted exhale flex your toes lower the leg inhale bring it back up exhale flex and lower inhale point and move it back up and now lift your hips up a little bit higher do not lower them down Keep squeezing and engaging your left glute muscle. And last one. Keep your leg lifted, adding some pulses. Think about reaching your right toes as high up as you can. Keep the engagement in your glutes. Really good. Last five, four, three, two, one keep your hips lifted for one more breath i know it burns and now lower them down really good and let's go straight into our scissor kicks one more time this time release your arms forward moving your legs only go pick up the pace going a little bit faster switching your legs Keeping the shoulders away from the ears and slightly tuck your chin in. And last four, three, two, one. And now hug your knees into your chest. But this is an intense class, so we are moving on to our double leg stretch. Inhale, reach your arms overhead and extend your legs. Exhale, circle the arms around and move your knees back in. Inhale, lengthen through your toes and fingertips and exhale, make yourself small and round like a ball. Lower back is pressing into the mat. Beautiful, three more. And two, and one last one. And then hug your knees into your chest, release your head back, moving left and right, massaging your spine. And since we've worked so hard, we have a little break. So bring your feet down as wide as the mat, extend your arms to the side, and exhale, allow your knees to fall to the right. 
Inhale, bring them up and exhale, allow them to fall to the other side. You can also just stay on one side if you want or just move them to the right and the left. And just breathe deeply, enjoying this gentle spinal twist. And then bring your legs back to center, extend your legs and we will move on with our roll-ups. But this time we have a little modification. Take a deep inhale, reach your arms overhead. And on your next exhale, peel yourself off the mat and Lift your left leg, hold onto your left calf muscle, find length in your spine and exhale with control, lower yourself and the left leg down. And let's repeat it on the other side. Lift your right leg, hold onto your right calf muscle and lower yourself all the way down with control. Every time you come up, find length in your spine and then round the spine and with control come all the way down. Beautiful. And we have two more on each side. I know you can do it. Moving slowly and mindfully but with lots of power and strength. And now we only have one more on each side. And last one. Really good. Lower yourself all the way down. And from here, let's do a normal roll up. Exhale, roll all the way up and forward and come into your forward fold. Just taking a moment here to release any tension in the back of your legs. And now come on up with a straight spine, flex your toes and fold over your legs one more time. This time we will keep the spine straight. Inhale deeply and exhale, release any tension. And from here, come all the way down to one side. Bring your right arm all the way down and your left hand behind your head. Inhale here, exhale, bring the left elbow to the left knee. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lower the leg and the head down. Try to engage your obliques as much as you can every time you crunch up. And we have two more. Last one. And now release your left hand down in front of you. One straight line with your body. Exhale, lift both legs up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Move your legs up with the strength of your core, especially your obliques. This is a great way to train your waistline. And now let's do two more. And on the last rep, keep your upper leg lifted and just move the bottom leg up and down. Keep the engagement in your core, which is helping you to stabilize the movement. And two more. Last one. And now keep the bottom leg lifted and just move the top leg up and down. 
Move the leg up slowly and lower it down with control. And three more. Two. Last one. And now keep your legs lifted and tap the heels together for 30 seconds. Go as fast as you can. Really good, don't forget to breathe. If it burns, you know you're doing a really good job. 10 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Really good. And now lower your legs down. Support your head with your right hand. And on your next inhale, bend the knee, bring it in, extend the leg and exhale, flex and lower. Inhale, bend the knee, extend, flex and lower down. Moving very mindfully here, keeping the engagement in your glutes the entire time. And you can, as always, find your own rhythm here, just moving with your breath. Bring the knee in, extend and lower. And from here, turn onto your belly. Come into your Sphinx pose first. Just opening through your chest, feeling a nice stretch through the front side of your body. Keep your neck nice and long. And now take some time here to adjust. Lower yourself down, extend the arms forward and the legs back. And on your next inhale, lift your arms and legs up. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Keep your gaze down to the ground. Keep your neck neutral. And you don't have to lift up very high, just think about lengthening all the way through your fingertips and your toes. Make yourself as long as you possibly can. And on your next rep, keep your legs and arms lifted and tap the arms three times to the side all the way back and move them forward slowly. Tap the ground with your fingertips two and three times and move forward. And just keep going here. Keep looking down to your mat. And if it's getting too hard, you can also release your legs down. And we have one more. Tap the ground with your fingertips and reach forward. Keep holding here. And three, two, one, really good. Press into your mat and send your hips back into your child's pose. Reach your hands forward and your hips back, creating length in your spine. Release the forehead down. And then take one more breath. And let's make our way onto the other side. Extend your left arm and let's start with our side crunches. Inhale to prepare, exhale, lift the upper body up slightly and try to tap the right knee with your right elbow. Every time you bring your knee to the elbow, try to exhale out fully through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Really good. Two more here. Last one. And then create one straight line with your body. Inhale. Exhale, lift both legs up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And inhale, lower the legs down. We have eight of these in total.
and three more, two, last one, and you know what's coming, keep the top leg lifted and just move the bottom leg up and down. Try to tap your right toes every time you move the leg up. And also think about lengthening all the way through your toes. And now move the top leg up and down. And three more, two, last one. And from here, keep your legs lifted and tap the heels together very quickly for 30 seconds. Go as fast and as powerful as you can. Keep breathing. And the last 10 seconds, Five, four, three, two, one, and then keep your legs lifted and release them down. Support your head with your left hand. Inhale, bring the right knee in, extend the leg. Exhale, flex and lower. Keep your right foot pointed when you bring the knee in and extend it up. And flex the foot, lower down with control and we have two more last one and now come all the way up into a tabletop position Hands come underneath the shoulders, tuck your toes under and think about drawing your navel to your spine. Inhale here and exhale, lift your knees off just a bit, just hovering off the ground. And from here, bring the knees back down and come into a push-up, extend the left leg back and up and come back into your hovering position for three, two, one, release the knees down, push up, extend the other leg back up and repeat. Three, two, one, push up, lift the left leg, come into your hovering position and lower your chest down, extend the right leg. We have two more on each side, just push through. We're slowly coming to the end of this workout. And one more on each side. Three, two, one, push up. Come into your hovering position. Last one on this side. And one more time, keep hovering your knees. And now send your hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Take a moment here to catch your breath. Keep your knees bent here if you need to. Now come on down onto your forearms and find your dolphin hold. Walk your feet in a little bit closer. You can always keep your knees bent if you want to. And then inhale to prepare and exhale, lower the head down. Inhale, press yourself back up. I know these dolphin push-ups are really intense. So if this is too challenging for you, just keep your dolphin hold and think about pressing the mat away from you with your forearms. If you're with me, we only have one more here. And come all the way up onto your hands, downward facing dog. 
take one more deep inhale and now send your hips back bend your knees exhale come forward into a high plank inhale come back and exhale shoot forward with lots of power really good we have four more and three two last one keep your high plank one straight line with your body keep pressing the mat away from you with your hands and then start to tap the right foot to the side bring it back in and tap the right elbow with your right knee moving on to the other side tap the foot to the side and bring the left knee to the left elbow and let's continue keep your core engaged draw the navel in and up Beautiful. One more time on each side. And now come on down onto your forearms into your low plank. Hold your plank for two deep breaths. And now start to move your hip to the right side. Come back up and move it to the other side. Stay strong in your upper body, keep your elbows underneath your shoulders. This is the last exercise, so give it your all. We're almost done here. And three more, last two, one, and then release everything back down. Really good. Send your hips back to your heels, find your child's pose, and just take a moment to just breathe allow your breath to gently come back to normal <laughs> that was really tough and i'm so proud of you if you're still with me we will close this workout with a gentle cool down stretch so come into your puppy pose allow your chest to melt down to the ground make sure your knees stay underneath your hips can bring your chin to the ground or your forehead whatever feels more comfortable for you and then bring the front side of your body down come into your sphinx pose one more time keeping your chest open And then bring your right foot closer to your buttocks. You can either stay here if you're feeling a nice stretch or if you're more advanced you can come into your half frog posture. Keep in mind this is a very intense stretch so be mindful of your knee. And then release the leg down and bring your left knee to your left glute muscle and find a stretch that works best for you right now. And then release. Come all the way up into your upward facing dog. Keep your thighs off the ground, keep your chest open. Come on down into your downward facing dog. Give your toes a little stretch if you want to. And then release into your normal downward facing dog. You can walk out your feet by bending one knee at a time. And then reach the left leg all the way up. And on your next exhale, come into your pigeon pose on the left side. Keep your hips square and then walk your hands forward. Try to go a little bit deeper with every new exhale. And 
and slowly walk your hands back up. Press yourself back into your downward facing dog. And now lift the right leg all the way up. Inhale here. Exhale. Come into your pigeon pose on the other side. Think about moving your right hip back and your left hip forward. And you can either stay up or come all the way down onto your forearms. And on your next inhale, come back up. Swing the back leg forward and let's close our practice in a cross-legged position just as we started. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed this intense Pilates workout. If you did, please leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel for weekly workouts and yoga flows. I wish you a wonderful rest of your day and I hope to see you again very soon.